Ew. Um, okay, after seeing this, um, I might take some videos as I clean it. <laughs> Just to show you, like, before and afters. Because, uh, yeah. I think this was a smoker's home. <laughs> Ew. Grody. Okay, that will probably get replaced with an SSD. I have to try and look for one of those, nice and cheap. So, yeah, um... That's the carpet, by the way, that's not fluff. That's just the carpet. So, yeah, um... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's a thing. That is a thing. And there's the... <laughs> How do people get let them get like this? I mean, holy shit. I know this is old, but damn. Uh, there are the other bits over there. Um, not too bad, but yeah, this is the worst, obviously. Um, hopefully this just needs a clean. And the laser will start to work again. Uh, I, if it doesn't, I don't know what to do. Um, I mean, I could just buy another one of these, which I know won't work with this. But I can probably take the laser out, or the daughter board out. If I have to, I forget how much space is in this. It could have put like a power supply just there. Um, so yeah, get rid of that 500 giga, hopefully. And yeah, um, yeah, the cleanest part so far. Oh Jesus! Oh, it's on the carpet now. <laughs> uh, you, you, uh, put that in there. Oh God. Look at that. Uh, yeah, um... Ooh, yeah, I wasn't gonna make any videos about this, but then I saw it, and, uh... Yeah, it's, uh... It's a bit gnarly. It's definitely a bit gnarly. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I don't have any isopropyl alcohol for cleaning. Um, I do have acetone-free nail polish remover, which I think kind of works very similarly. So, yeah. Here's the power supply with the red light still. There's a plasma ball which unfortunately isn't turned on. Yeah. And here's the aftermath of actually testing it as well. And there's some marshmallows. Nice. Um, so yeah. Uh, <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's a... Uh, it could be worse. I might take this outside with some sift and uh, blast it off with the hose, the garden hose. Because uh, that'll have the most amount of pressure. Well, I suppose I could use the air compressor in the garage first, maybe, I don't know. So, yeah. Um... <sighs> yeah. It's amazing. Oh god, you not just realised. Oh, the fucking X clamps. Because um, I was going to repaste this. I do have some thermal paste left. I just dread taking this X-clamp off. I mean, if I have to get a new motherboard, as long as I can find a motherboard that matches this. These aren't very cheap. Uh, these aren't very expensive, so... Uh, but, yeah. Just thought I'd, uh, just thought I'd document this. <laughs> and, uh... So that I might actually make some videos as I go, just because uh, this is far worse than what I thought it was going to be. So yeah, um, just that though, bloody Nora. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, um, let's get on and do a bit more cleaning and. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come back when maybe some of this has been a bit more cleaned with the garden hose or whatever. So, yeah. See you in a few seconds, technically. Oh, well, got that clean. Can't really do much about that, but eh, it's good enough. Yeah, took the fan off. Ew. Why? How does that even happen? I mean, this is definitely a smoker's house. This, this is for sure. <clears throat> but Jesus, good lord. Ugh. Yeah. 
can also clean the Blu-ray player as well, but I can't test that until I put everything back together again, which is kind of annoying. Uh, <clears throat> gave these a bit of a brush off, uh, as well as the bottom piece. Oh, <laughs> so just come off everywhere. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, this thermal paste was completely dry as bones, man. Oh, come on. Yeah, so, yeah, going great so far. Ugh. I'd give this a clean off again. Mm. Yummy. Why? Ugh. I feel like I'm catching all sorts of diseases. <clears throat> Should be using rubber gloves. Mm. Well, going well so far. Except for that. Icky. Ugh. Focus, please. Thank you. Oh, well. well, that looks so much better. Both sides. And the fan looks better. <clears throat> and I've given these a blast out with the garden hose especially this there's still a little bit of dirt right there but I think that's just that should just come off quite easily but yeah I, I used the garden hose to get rid of all the crap inside these vents here there's the main board which is all nice and clean so yeah that is that is looking a lot better so now I can put this back together uh, put some new thermal paste on and uh, yeah, try and get that X clamp back on as well. But uh, yeah, so far, looking a le good. Ouch, Ooh, very sharp. <laughs> so yeah, oh, much better than it was. Still not quite sure what to do about this. I might just have to use some T cut on it. But uh, yeah, other than that. Is good. And a small part of me would like to paint this, but if I did that, I'd want to paint the front panel as well, the glossy part, but it has the button on it. So I'm not really quite sure what to do about that. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah. But yeah, it's, it's coming along, and I didn't break anything here, which was quite remarkable. That was already removed. So, not that it really matters. <laughs> uh, still got a bit of gunk in there that I need to clean, which you can't really see. Uh, but yeah, there's some gunk in there. <laughs> which I want to focus on. Uh, so, yeah. Really, the only thing... Oh, yeah, and I won that power supply. Um, so that should be here within a few days. And get rid of that bloody cheap knockoff one. And, uh, yeah, I'll have an official power supply. And the only thing really left to do is possibly get an SSD for it. So, coming along. Ooh. Okay, well, we're getting there. This is all now nice and clean. That is now nice and clean. Now this actually still needs a bit of a clean. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the the glossy stuff until near the end because that's just going to get all fingerprinty anyway. But this is kind of clean. There's still a few water stains in it from where I cleaned it, but uh, other than that, it is getting there. Same thing with that. Just clean that up a bit, but uh, again, just need to go over that with a bit of like polish or something. Uh, uh, the DVD or the Blu-ray drive is all nice and clean. Uh, all the parts in here. Yeah, the hard drive, which, like I said, might get replaced with an SSD. And the hard drive caddy that does actually need to be cleaned. I haven't really done anything with that. And all the other gets. Um, I did put some a fresh thermal paste on. Unfortunately, I didn't show it. <laughs> But uh, I like to cons I like to think that I did put on the correct amount of thermal paste, 
or the perfect amount. Uh, this bod this post. Yeah, this is the broke. Is it the broken post? Oops, doodle. Yeah, that's the broken post. Uh, this is what it's. Ugh. Oh god. Come here. Come here. Uh, yeah, that's the post that's still in. That's still in one piece. And that's the post that isn't. So. <laughs> Could have found a way to attach it, but I probably won't because. If I take this out. <laughs> The screw hole has broken, so yeah, I think so. I might, I might try and attach this in anyway. <clears throat> Not that it would actually be useful, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Zip tie in or something. I don't know. I might just leave that out. Uh, so yeah, uh, like I said, I need to be on the lookout for a cheap one terabyte SSD. Yeah, put that back in. Actually, no, I won't put that back in just yet because I might just trim that post off completely. So, and yeah, you can see some water stains. I need to clean that. Uh, but yeah, on the whole, it's getting there. It's been a while. <laughs> it's, the, the weather's been hot, and I just haven't been bothered. And I've had a toothache for a couple of days, so that's put me off. But uh, yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, hey, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Eh? So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you. Oh, wait. So, yeah, um, on to the next bit. Okay, and here we are with the next bit. Uh, for some reason, I've decided to repaint this. Don't know why, but, uh, yeah, I've just given that a nice uh, coat of gloss black, <laughs> just because. That looks quite nice. <clears throat> And there's the inside, all nice and clean, finally. There's that one that broke off, so I can't put that back on, so... But seven should be enough. Clean fan. And... Yeah, all clean. There's the top. <clears throat> this... That has been cleaned, although I need to give it another bit of a clean. This hasn't been cleaned yet, and neither has the front. Um, I bought some poly watch, which is like some plastic scratch remover and polish. I might try some tea cut first though, but I'm waiting for the poly watch to arrive. And uh, I might be able to see if I can scratch, uh, buff out some of those scratches. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's all looking quite good. <clears throat> Including that. I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> That's quite nice. So yeah, um, I might wait until I've got either the poly watch or get some tea cut, because I'll polish that um, before I put it back together. So oh yeah, and the power supply should be here today um, from Every or Hermes as they used to be called, um, between 1.30 and 3.30. Yeah, well, uh, we'll see how accurate that is. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's coming along. Uh, it's taking a while, <laughs> so uh, I still don't have a, a connect game yet, so I have to wait and see. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, a few, few little bits in there from just being out in the open. Uh, but other than that, yeah, nice out, all nice and clean. Finally. I'm sure you remember what it looked like before, <laughs> and it smelled so bad, like you know, smoker's house and everything. So nice, good bearing. Ooh, and I still need to obviously try and get a one terabyte SSD. So yeah. Um. <clears throat> oh, my throat. I've got a bad throat for the last few days. It's been very difficult to eat and swallow and talk. So, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, I might make a quick addition um, if and, and when in the power supply arrives. And then after that, it'll probably be waiting for the poly watch. And we'll give that a buff. And we'll see how that comes out. Um, obviously, I, I do need to clean it first, anyway. Um, and then we'll buff it up uh, with the poly watch. Or even teacup. So... 
Yep. Uh, I'm back in a few seconds, hopefully with the power supply update. So, see you in a bit. Oh, and there we go. It actually did arrive pretty quick. <laughs> so, yeah, it is very scruffed up. So, maybe the poly watch or T cut can get that off. So, or at least make it look a bit nicer. So, and I don't even know if it works yet, but I'm going to assume it does for now. So, uh, yeah, now we have an official Xbox power supply, unlike the last one, which is a fake. Which works, but the status light doesn't really work properly. It goes red instead of orange, and when you turn the Xbox on, instead of green, it goes off. So, yeah, no idea. But other than that, yeah, a little bit of a clean here and there. I've already cleaned it with some polish and some of this stuff. It's good paint remover, so try some of that. And giving it a bit of a clean with this, because this actually helps black plastic get some of its shine back. I don't know if I can use the T-Cut or Poly Watch on a matte plastic. I know I can use it on gloss, but I don't know about black, uh, matte. So, um, a bit hesitant to try that. Might Actually, no, I could technically try it on the fake power supply and see what happens. So, yeah, since I'm probably just going to dump that. Since it, it works, but not correctly. And like I said, it's not a genuine Xbox One anyway, so it's worth nothing. Uh, and it only works with an Xbox One, so... Uh, uh, but yeah, there we go. <laughs> As I said, uh, the next bit will be about the power supply arriving. So now, I just have to wait for the poly watch to arrive, and we'll see what happens when I try to polish some of these scuffs and scratches. So, yeah. Okay, uh, the poly watch arrived days ago, and as you can see, that actually did a pretty good job. A lot better. That actually did kind of work. <laughs> um, not so much on this. Um, yeah, I ended up putting some of this on there because uh, yeah, it, it just didn't. It just didn't work. Too big of an area. Uh, I did try some tea cut, um, but that actually just made it worse. It just put a load of swirls in the plastic, um, which wouldn't come out. So I gave up on that and uh, just put some of that down, which was quite good. Uh, and then there's the power supply. I tried it on the power supply. It did okay on the power supply, but very deep scratches on that. So I kind of sanded it down and painted it. Um, however, just, just, despite my hardest efforts and putting it in a plastic box after painting, it's still got a lot of bits stuck in it, which is really annoying. Um, not quite sure what to do about that. I might get another one in the future. That looks a bit better, but... Uh, yeah, I mean it's not too bad, but yeah, it's Ugh, so annoying. It's got little bits stuck in it. Not this side. This side is fine, but the glossy bit, for some strange reason, has a load of bits fell on it. So yeah, still got some black paint on me from where I painted it. Uh, there's the black paint for that. That actually went really well, and didn't get anything stuck on it for some reason. And uh, yeah, here's the rest of it. Um, so yeah, uh, some time has passed though since all this, so <laughs> it's just things gotten in the way. Um, so but yeah, all good and clean finally. So I can put it all together, and uh, we'll do a proper test of it. Hello, oh, it's a bit dusty down there. Yeah, I must have missed that. That's dirt. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. But that's, that's not too bad. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Could just put some black carbon fibre effect vinyl on top. Uh, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's put this back together again and uh, when I can, give it a test. Yay! So I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, the Xbox One is all back together and back on the shelf, um, and so the only thing left to do is test it, I suppose. That'll be in a separate video. 
So yeah, uh, that went okay. That cleaned up quite nicely. And I'm waiting for another power supply to arrive, which hopefully is in a lot better condition. So <laughs> yeah, I bought another power supply. Mm. Um, but yeah, anyway, I ignore the... Oh Jesus Christ, that is actually a lot dustier than I thought. <laughs> See, this one's nice and clean, but yeah, yeah no, ignore that. Uh, so yeah, um, when I've got some time, I'll reset this thing up and uh, we'll test it again. Make sure the uh, reads all disks this time and uh, really the only thing that would be left would be to put the SSD in it at some point and yeah, maybe put it back on eBay if anyone wants it. So yeah, that is it. I've also just discovered this thing called Larkin Sun. It is the creepiest thing ever, and yet it is awesome at the same time. Uh, so yeah, um, that's it. That's it for the cleaning bit. So uh, on to the uh, testing part two. So I'll see you in that video. Bye.